Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I will show you how to make chicken kiev. So stay tuned and watch the video to the end. Chicken kiev is a pounded chicken breast stuffed with herbed butter. The history of this dish has many controversial variations. This dish is very popular in post-Soviet Union countries and is known from 18th century, when Russian chefs adapted a lot of techniques from French cuisine. I will serve my chicken kiev with baby carrots and creamy mashed potatoes. I already have the video recipe of creamy mashed potatoes. You can check the link above and in the video description. Take one bunch of baby carrots, cut the tops off, but not all the way. I like to leave about 1 inch from the top for presentation. Peel them. And gently clean the top with paring knife. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new cooking videos. And put them aside. Take one fourth of a bunch of parsley. Remove the leaves from stems. Stems you can keep them and use them for chicken stock or stews. Chop it fine. Transfer it into the bowl and put it aside. Take one fourth of a bunch of a dill. Remove the stems as well. These stems I will use for my homemade gravlak. Remember that nothing goes to waste. There is always use for everything. And now let's work on the compound butter. Take one pound of unsalted room temperature butter. Grate for cloves of garlic through fine grater. Add parsley and dill. Season it with freshly grounded white pepper and salt. And mix it. Take plastic wrap, transfer the butter mixture on top and roll it into the cylinder. Roll it, tie up the ends, and then you can twist it. 
so it gets tighter. And place it into the freezer for 30 minutes. Take for chicken breast, clean it from excess fat if needed, and gently butterfly it. Take a chicken breast, place the plastic wrap on top of it and pound the meat from the both sides until it gets approximately one fourth of an inch. Make sure to pound it with the flat side of a meat pounder. If you don't have a meat pounder, use a rolling pin or a pen. Take a plastic wrap Place the pounded chicken on top, season it with salt and pepper, season it with salt and white pepper, cut about 1 ounce of butter for each chicken and place it at the bottom of chicken breast. Roll it like you're rolling a wrap, make sure to roll it tight and all the sides are in. You don't want the butter to leak during the cooking process. Roll it into the plastic wrap, as I did earlier with the compound butter. Pour it into the sheet pan and place it into the freezer for one hour. You want to partially freeze your chicken kiev. One hour passed, prepare the breading station. Take one bowl and add one cup of flour. And season it with salt. Into the second bowl, crack four large eggs. And whisk it. And into the last one, add one and a half cups of seasoned breadcrumbs. Take a sheet pan and sprinkle some breadcrumbs on it. That's where you will put your breaded chicken kiev. Take the chicken from the freezer and let's start the breading process. Dredge the chicken into the flour. Then dip it into the egg wash. Yes, this dish is complicated and it requires a lot of steps, but it's truly worth it. You won't get this quality chicken kiev nowhere. And transfer it into the breadcrumbs. Make sure to seal all the gaps. If you see some parts are not sealed, you can dip it again into the egg wash and then back into the breadcrumbs. When all the chicken is breaded, Place it into the freezer for additional 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I will heat up the oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the chicken from the freezer and fry it one by one until it's golden brown in color. Approximately two minutes each side. You don't want to add two chicken kiev into one pan because the temperature of the oil will significantly drop 
and the crust will become soggy, so you need to be patient. All the chicken is fried. Place it into the sheet pan with a baking rack. This way all the juices will be dripping into the sheet pan and chicken kiev will remain crispy. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and place the chicken in for 20 to 22 minutes. Of course, if you're using smaller chicken breast, the time should be decreased. The internal temperature of the chicken should be 165 degrees Fahrenheit. My chicken kiev is ready. Take it out from the oven and let it rest for 10 minutes. While the chicken is resting, I will cook the carrots. Bring the water to boil, add half a teaspoon of salt and add the carrots in. Cook them for 2 minutes. Transfer them into the plate. Season with salt and pepper. and drizzle with some olive oil. Plate the dish. Mashed potato in the center of the plate, carrots are on the side and chicken kiev on top of mashed potatoes. Just take a look how gorgeous the dish came out. Please enjoy!